Hey! Ready, fish. 14th of June, 2018. And you guys, I just can't get over this stuff. You know what I mean? So it's like 4.30 in the morning. Uh, checking my stuff here real quick. And, and this article is right in my headlines. The Brilliant Vigilance of Seattle's Gargantuan New Tunnel. This came out yesterday, 6.13, in Wired Magazine. Uh, that title, when I saw it in my headlines, I was like, I have to click on that. I mean, that's crazy. The Brilliant Vigilance of Seattle's Gargantuan Tunnel. And I have this thing with tunnels, man. They're just evil to me. I don't know. They just strike me as evil. But when I started reading this, I knew that this meant something. So I'm just going to show it to you and let you take it to prayer and discern for yourself. They start out the article with a scenario. Say there's a fire, a fire caused by a car crash inside a 2.5 mile tunnel under a major American city. It's a terrifying idea, but if you want that kind of problem to ignite anywhere, if you want that kind of problem, okay, it's in a stretch of State Route 99 that later this year will start whisking traffic underneath downtown Seattle. That's because this bit of SR99, which incidentally, in numerology, that's a 1 and a 9. 1999 is more than the hemisphere's largest diameter bored tunnel in the country's longest roadway tunnel outside of Alaska. Much of it dug by Bertha, the former planet. It's a boring machine. It's this particular paragraph right here that struck me, okay? Listen to this. The theoretical firefighting begins within moments of the flames. First appearance. As the tunnel's 8.3 miles of built-in heat sensors pick up the change in temperature. Of the 300 cameras, those closest to the problem zoom in on the flames. First into action is the deluge system. Hmm. They actually call it that which can dump 17 inches of water per square foot into the tunnel. 17. You see where I'm coming from? Through 21 miles of piping. It's so much water, the tunnel's engineers had to run models to be sure the decks could manage the weight. Eventually, 3.8 miles of drainage pipes will dry things out, ushering the water to a sewer treatment plant. That one paragraph just struck me big time. It, we start with the 11 and we end with the 11. You understand? Bookends. We have the 300 and the flames. I mean, just look at the placement of them. Judges, 15-4, Samson, the 300 boxes, H7776, and the firebrands, flames, fire, Okay, he burnt up the entire Philistines' croplands and everything, okay? Fire coming in. A deluge. The fire, perhaps something related to fire. Weaponry or something uh, from space, they might tell you. Uh, whatever that causes a deluge. You know, like a great mountain cast from heaven. I don't know. You tell me. This is just weird to me. The 17, of course, I look at is the 153. That's just what it always is to me. It's perfection. It's God's, God's perfect way. So, in the 21, of course, 777. The London bombings, 9-11. All I see is terror and evil when I see that in this context. Okay? This is just wicked. I can just sense it. And the 17 stuffed in there in the middle, okay, as the fire and the flames, okay, that is very, very interesting. And then it almost verifies it down here, because look at this. Next on the emergency procedure comes clearing the smoke. And they use jet fans to clear the smoke. 1999 has vents every 100 feet, so the 8 exhaust fans and 17 jet fans can move it move the air up and out you understand what i mean the 153 fish up and out right in the midst 
of the flames and the deluge. That's what I see. I can't help it. There you go. And this is not even the end of it because I, once in a while, especially lately though, I check the stock markets. And this is what the markets all closed at last night on the 13th. Okay? This is just crazy because of all the stuff that's the, the way the numbers are relating to this, the new world currency. Okay? The Phoenix. The way the numbers are coming in in relation to that article being released 30 years ago. The 1111. The book ends. I'm, I don't know exactly what everything means. I can't, I cannot say. But I do know it means something. This is nuts. This is crazy, right? But look at the closings on the stocks and everything yesterday. I'm just, just showing you this because this is very, very unusual, okay? The Dow Jones closed down 119.53 points. The S&P closed down 11.22, 33, 11, 11, 11, all right? The NASDAQ was 8.09, 17. Unbelievable. And now, this, this, I'll end it with this. Silver, which I believe is God's money. I, colloidal silver to me is a, is a gift directly from God. So I have this little affinity with God's metal of silver. And so look at the silver here. You just, you can't make this up. The market closed out at 1701. Okay. The bid on silver was 1701. The ask on silver was 1711. The change was 17 cents, which is 1.01%. That is nuts, you guys. I'm serious. All the fish in the net, the flames, the deluge, something's going down. And I certainly don't know when, and I really don't know where either. You know what I'm saying? Seattle's just all over the radar these last few days. This is crazy. But there it is. I had to show you this. I had to. You guys got to read this. This is crazy. Of course, I'll link it. Everything. This here, I'm going to take a screenshot of that. So, uh, I'm just, I'm kind of beside myself over that, to be honest with you. This is off the hook. Crazy. So, you know, y'all have a great day. <laughs> just keep looking up, okay? Keep looking up. Keep praying up. And I just want to show you one last thing. The first thing I do when I come out here in the morning, this is like an hour ago, 4 a.m. or so, I hit a random Bible verse and I do a little reading. This was my random Bible verse. Psalm 6, 9. I kid you not. The Lord hath heard my supplication. The Lord will receive my prayer. Pretty cool, huh? All links in description. Peace and grace to y'all. Have a good day. Many fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, 